<clears throat> over here. Gotcha. That's nice. What's going on? Demetrius, I mean The Good Son. There's a few of us in The Good Son. It's a new show, about to play at the Bakehouse in Adelaide. Now what we want to do today is something a little bit different, a little bit special. Okay, it's an Australian play based on some Greek Australian families. And so the most important part of a Greek Australian family is the Greek coffee. And that's what we're going to make for you today. When making Greek coffee, you've got three choices. You can make sketo, metrio or glico. Sketo meaning plain, metrio medium or glico meaning sweet. Okay, now for the purpose of today's demonstration, we're going to make a metrio coffee, which means medium. Now you've got all you need is, you know, your Greek coffee and some sugar and what we call the bricky, okay? And we're going to make two coffees because having Greek coffee is a social kind of thing, even though I'm probably going to have one on my own today. So what we do is, first of all, you grab, just a tea, is it a teaspoon, is that what we call a teaspoon, tablespoon? I don't know, this spoon, the small spoon. You grab that, you grab yourself a nice chunk of Greek coffee, there you go. One, Enna, we make two, two people, deal. Okay, so you put that in first. Then you're going to grab the sugar. Again, the same amount, you get a nice chunk in there. Teaspoon one. Two, you put that in right at the start, okay? There's nothing in that pot. It's literally just the coffee and the sugar. Then what you need to do is you need to put the right amount of water in there at the start. So obviously that's the coffee cups we're going to use. So we're going to fill in two of these cups because we put this for two servings, okay? Second cup of water. There you go. Okay. So you just put your heat on, obviously on your... For some reason, I know it's really subtle, and maybe some people kind of agree or disagree, but I like to use gas, a gas stove when cooking, making a great coffee. So you put it on the low heat, okay? Ooh. And you just leave that on there. Now what you want to do as well, is you want to make sure that you stir the coffee in while it's sitting on the low heat. Maybe stick your finger up a little bit, just to be extra fancy. And now, we wait. A bit of a stir again. Oh, finger. It does take a while. One more stir. Okay, come, 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 come. You're missing the best part. See, it's bubbling, 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 come on, and... There we go. Done. Okay. And that's how you make Greek coffee. You've got to be really careful though. So once it starts to bubble, it can rise really, really quickly. And the first couple of times I made it, um, I was a little bit kind of, you know, overconfident about it. And you kind of just go, oh yeah, it's bubbling. And you relax for a second. And suddenly your whole kind of kitchen ends up with the coffee. Okay. So we got that. We take our coffee, give it a nice pour. Pour a little bit there, a little bit each, and then you want to get a little bit of that. See, come over here. See what I put on the top, the, the cream, or as we Greeks like to call. Oh, come on, I kind of screwed that one up. That one's a better example of it there. There you go, your little Greek coffee. And then you say, all right. Cheers, let's go have a great coffee. So drinking a great coffee is something that you can do too. Yes. It's hot. <laughs> I'm a little bit myself. <laughs> 